We're looking at the DesignJet 510 that's coming up with the 0510 error code. Um, boot it up and just goes straight into the into that error code. Tells you to call HP support. Okay, uh, very likely that that's going to be um, an HP GL2 card failure. Um, so we'll just be going through the steps to ascertain whether that is the case. Uh, first thing to do is to power the machine off and to remove the power from the mains. So having removed the power from the machine, uh, we're now around the back of the machine. See, totally disconnected from the mains as well. Okay. And what we do is we'll remove this cover. Comes out, comes off in your hand. Pop it out of the way. And we're now looking at the EIO slots. Um, this one here has had the blanking plate removed, um, and this one here has actually got the GL2 card installed. So what we do, loosen off these thumb screws. You may need a screwdriver to do this. I've sort of pre-loosened them and then just pull out the, the HP GL2 card okay so we've got the card there um, now one of the first things to try would be if it has got additional memory installed which this one has is to remove that memory you just spring those back take the memory out and then what we can do is we can reinstall that into the EIO slot and see whether or not the machine recognises you know, whether the 510 error has gone away see if it recognises that card uh, another thing to try is to pop it into the spare EIO slot if it's not being utilised or if it's, got an, if it's got a Jet Direct card in there let's just take that Jet Direct card out and pop the GL2 card into the other EIO slot um, that will give us a bit more information as to whether or not it's the GL2 card that's failed uh, or it's the, it's the EIO slot on the main board that, that's got the problem. Um, so assuming you've tried that uh, and it's not resolved the 0510 error then you will need to replace this HP GL2 card. So we do purchase your replacement card, uh, take, the memory, take the memory off of uh, the card that you're taking out because that will install into your new card, just take it out and then just ins you know, replace the card, just install it into the machine and that should resolve your problem. So having replaced the GL2 card it's now just a case of reconnecting to the mains, powering up the machine and seeing whether or not the 0510 error has been resolved, uh, which it has in this case, see the machine there is, has come ready. Um, can just do a quick double check to make sure that any installed memory is being recognised and just by scrolling down to the printer setup menu, the bottom icon, and pressing enter. And from there, going down to printer information, and pressing enter. And then we can just view on the screen. So press enter on view, and we can just scroll down. And the giveaway that's being recognised successfully, apart from the fact you haven't got the 0510 error, um, is as you scroll down you will see formatter FW. Well, that indicates that the formatter is present, is being recognised, tells you what revision the firmware is on there. And then underneath that, just to make sure all the installed memory is being recognised, tells you what the total RAM is. Um, if there's no upgrade on there, then the machine should show 160, 160 megabytes of RAM. Uh, this machine's actually been maxed out, uh, so it's showing 416 megabytes of RAM. So that's fine. Machines repaired and all ready to go.